Well, good afternoon, everyone. I am Renu Kator, Chancellor of the University of Houston System and President of the University of Houston. On behalf of our 59,000 students, 8,000 faculty and staff, and 220 plus thousand very successful and proud graduates, I welcome you to the Cougar Nation, the land of the red. We are delighted to have you all here. Very, very special greetings to our state and local officials who are here. Also, greetings to the Methodist Hospital and Research Institute, to our members of our Board of Regents, our alumni and friends. Today is truly a historic day for us, and you will find out in a very short while as to why. But if I do want to say we are truly honored to have the presence of our fearless leader for this great state of Texas, <laughs> Governor Rick Perry. Now, you probably know a whole lot about him. I won't go over everything, but I do want to give you a little personal side. The day I was confirmed here as chancellor, my very first call of duty was to go to Austin because Governor Perry had called a meeting of all chancellors. And I thought, what a great state that puts education on such a list of, totally top on the list of priorities. Then when I met Governor Perry and I saw his discussion about research, its impact on communities, economic development, I thought, wow, what a great state that has such wonderful leadership that puts higher education so such on top of the priority list. Then I met the first lady, Anita Perry, and I was so impressed by her warmth and her genuine interest that I thought, wow, it's great to be in a great state that has great <laughs> leaders and that has great, such great first family. So I can tell you, Governor, it has been one year and 19 days for me here at the University of Houston, and every single day has been a blessed day for me. We appreciate very much and offer our gratitude to all that you have done and continue to do for higher education in the state of Texas, as well as doubly grati double gratitude for all that you have done and continue to do for the University of Houston. We are, we are very appreciative of your vision and uh, we follow you following your lead. I know you are an Aggie, however, <laughs> and that's a great university, fabulous university, absolutely, we're very proud of it, but I also know that the color of your blood is red and therefore you are a Cougar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor, great privilege to give to you the 47th governor of the great state of Texas, Governor Rick Perry. Thank you. Chancellor, thank you for your kind words. Stand over here, Bobby. I think uh, that's to do my cougar yes. red blood. Absolutely. Uh, okay. Yes. The Aggies can do that. <laughs> but it's an honor to be here with you today, and thank you for hosting us and and uh, uh, for the year plus that you've been here. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure for me to get to know you, your husband. Uh, who in his own right is a, an extraordinary engineer and, and quite a unique uh, presence on this campus, Associate Dean. Um, Dr. Lieberman, it is a pleasure to be with you again. And uh, uh, today we're celebrating the next big step. Um, next big step in a, in a partnership, in a journey, as the uh, Chancellor and I were discussing this journey that uh, has taken the University of Houston to some heights that uh, um, maybe some years ago people might not have thought were within reach, but uh, uh, as every day goes by, it becomes more and more 
apparent to, to folks that this institution is uh, headed to the forefront of uh, uh, not only higher education in the state of Texas, but particularly on the commercialization of technology forefront. Um, and the, the, the horizon, I happen to think, it, it's limitless. Um, obviously, Dr. Uh, Gustafson, uh, who uh, is a, uh, just a, uh, quite a presence uh, in and of himself, just to meet him and to uh, make his acquaintance. Uh, I want to say thank you for making the right choice, sir. Uh, you, you will never be... Uh, You will never be embarrassed that you chose the Lone Star State to continue your research. And um, a little over, well, a little less than a year ago, we were in, in uh, Stockholm at the Karolinska Institute where uh, uh, he has done some of his work uh, discussing with them this exact opportunity with our cancer institute, uh, our cancer initiative. And um, we're starting to see some of the um, very constructive things come out of, of, of those meetings and reaching out and, and letting people know what we have here in the state of Texas. Um, for the students that are here today, I, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, you were able to, to come and participate because you're seeing history made. Uh, you're seeing uh, a very powerful piece of history uh, being struck in, the, in this state. And uh, <clears throat> Just for a little history lesson, particularly with us, we're, we're talking about uh, an individual who is from Sweden. Um, over a century ago, there were a substantial number of Swedish uh, immigrants that came to, uh, to Texas. And they had a very important role in, in building our state. And their legacy still lives on in towns by the name of Lund, and New Sweden, uh, Swindonia. Uh, as a matter of fact, in my home county of Haskell, there was a ranch called the SMS, S.M. Swenson, uh, and that was uh, the businessman who paid for Swedish immigrants to come, paid for their, their travel in exchange for a year's hard work. Uh, we're going to live up to that, sir. So, uh, and I'm not even worried about the, uh, the hard work that's going to come out of this man's uh, fertile mind out of his hands and, and out of those that are uh, coming uh, that he lures to the University of Houston because of his uh, reputation and the work that he's doing. Um, it, it's, uh, we still expect that, that same type of, uh, of relationship, but I think we're making you a little more civilized invitation, uh, Dr. Gustafsson, so, uh, uh, as the result of, of our Emerging Technology Fund. Um, his presence today represents a milestone moment in our history, as I shared with you, and of the school. Um, it's a very important indicator of our state's success in creating a culture of innovation. Uh, here in Texas, we're blessed with some wonderful universities, a uh, strong population of bright and talented researchers. Their ideas traditionally uh, gather dust on shelves. Unfortunately, too often it did. Uh, no obvious path to impact people's lives in a positive way. And we're working to change that with this emerging technology fund. Uh, the approach we take with the fund is different from what you might expect from government. Uh, it's not about a give